So this is a crater, quite literally. Yeah, I can stand in it. The state does not give these rural towns resources to take care of their inner streets. Disgusting. Not a lot of money in Marlin. I know the funding's there. It's in the budget report, but nothing ever gets done. And we got a crew out every day. If anything could be done, the holes in Marlin so that nobody else loses a loved one. Just a few minutes of driving through the town of Marlin and you'll find a community plagued with potholes, as you saw in that video, and it's only getting worse. Yeah, it isn't pretty. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski tonight has an up-close look at that impact. Slow traffic, broken down cars, even a lost life. We spent the day in Marlin talking with residents about how potholes in town have become much more than just an inconvenience. They say the roads are the worst they've ever been and they're begging for a solution. Lisa Balder's mother was about to celebrate her 90th Christmas. So here we took something that we thought was going to be a fun evening to go watch the Marlin Christmas Parade. They parked near the Old Palace Theater in downtown Marlin. And it ends up being devastating loss. When her mother, Janie, got out of the car. I think she walked maybe three or four steps and she tripped in a big pothole in the street. The fall sent Janie to the hospital with serious fractures. Just weeks later, she passed away in hospice care. She just couldn't handle the trauma. You don't have to go far to see it for yourself. This street has gotten worse since we've lived here. You can see the, the potholes there and they go all the way down. The roads all over town riddled with deep potholes. That's how far, this is just one of probably about 100 on this road. You can only do so much with what little money you have. Tracy Lyons was born and raised in Marlin and says the town isn't the same one she used to know. The roads outside her house are almost undrivable. I mean, to have a nice, honest place to live and not have to worry about destructing your car, I mean, you need help. They all have one wish, that something will finally change in this small Texas town. If anything could be done for the holes in Marlin so that nobody else loses a loved one, I sure hope they do it. Those residents are pleading for help, but the city of Marlin says there are unavoidable roadblocks in the way of making real change. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Andrew, thank you. Now, this problem is a decades old problem. The city highlighting big hurdles ahead, making any sort of help difficult to achieve. The city says there's a lack of funding to fix it. Last May, Marlin City Council passed a $2 million bond to fix the roads, but prior to that, the only money spent to fix streets was in 1994. Our in-depth reporter Austin Walker has been digging into this issue and brings us what plans are in place, and, but some in Marlin are a little skeptical. Looking at statewide data, Marlin has one of the lowest tax rates in the state. The city says limited money coming in leaves them with limited options. In this in-depth report, we spoke with the city manager and public works who say they are trying to find the best solutions, but residents tell me they want faster progress and progress promised. There's a lot of holes in this story. Why do we have the funding but nothing's being done? A town hoping to fill questions with answers. Growing up in Marlin. So this is a crater, quite literally. Nicole Grams is used to driving in zigzags. Having to slow down whenever you cross the train tracks because the roads got so bad. Avoiding the potential alignment issues. Cars will hit this going 20 or 30 and you can actually hear it in the house whenever they hit it and they tear the front ends off their cars. So you, when you live here, you hear the... Yes, you can hear it in the house, even over the TV and everything. She also says she's learned to not put too much stake in the city for filling these potholes. I know the funding's there. It's in the budget report, but nothing ever gets done. Cedric Davis, Marlin City Manager, saying filling these problems with solutions has been easier said than done. It is the, the lack that the state does not give these rural towns resources to take care of their inner streets. Looking at the tax rates for the state, the Falls County tax rate, the funds in charge of fixing the roads, is almost non-existent, sitting at a big number of 0.5%. In comparison, the national tax rate is 8.25%. 
you know, there's not a lot of money in Marlin. According to Davis, the town passed a bond to fix roads last May, over $2 million. Prior to that... They did about 14, 14 16 streets, and that was in 1994. But Davis assures plans to fill the gaps are in the works to take care of the almost three decades worth of neglect. Harbor funds by President Biden now being able to be applied to towns like Marlin. We're now allowed to be able to go buy materials to do pothole repairs to to help out. And a West Coast company could be a saving grace. Uh, you'll see that we're talking with a company who will be flying in from uh, California next week to look at our roads and looking at uh, financing some road repairs. If our city was able to finance road repairs, uh, this particular company can repair our city streets in within two to two and a half years. So now, even 28 years later, it's a waiting game again. The difference, the hope from the city. So we're just waiting for the big bucks to come. But for some like Grams. And it's a shame that we have the money to fix it. Nothing's being done. She's waiting for these problems to be gone. Terrible. She's hoping to be proved wrong. It's been like this for years. And begging for the holes in this story to be filled. For years, people have been buying gravel and mixing concrete all by themselves just to help. The city says it will make a lot of repairs, but if there's not a good foundation or good initial road, the repairs won't last. What's next? We wait to see if the company coming in will fill the city's pockets with money. In the studio tonight with this in-depth report, I'm Austin Walker.